Hi, track fans. Welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. It's been such a long time since I've been on camera, but guess what? Today I got time, so I'm here to drop some back-to-back -back videos. I have a few thoughts and opinions on a few topics that I would love to share with y'all. And you don't know the tingle, we can always chop it up down below. You can tell me your thoughts. Of course, we don't have to agree, but I would love to hear your thoughts. That's how I learn and also grow in this whole track and field world. And especially when it comes to some processes that, you know, exist and why they, you know, belong with it or why they're in place, right? So track is, if you're new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Do it right now, please. Thank you. And also hit that like button. Let the video get out there. So the first topic that I want to jump into is Serena Cole, our under 20 championship silver medalist, a girl that has run 11.13 seconds this season. That girl, Edwin Allen, Serena Cole, right? So I really want to talk about her today. So I saw a report, you know, where she is deciding to stay home or, and, and by home that is stay back at Edwin Allen for another year so that she can work on her personal bests and, you know, improving herself, becoming more conf a more confident athlete. Uh, the report said, you know, she was overshadowed by the twins because, you know, we've been all been talking about the twins our whole life, right? And it seems that they are the, you know, they were the, 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 the face of Edwin Allen. So now that they're no longer there, you know, Serena will be able to be more confident and I guess come out of her, her shy box, right? And perform better. And also, it did go on to say that she was given multiple offers for uh, universities overseas, but they decided to turn that down and, you know, work on bettering herself. So, you know, that kind of shot me because I'm like, oh, well, I want to write so. So I did a bunch of videos, a few, you know, you've, saw, you've seen them. Uh, talking about the athletes that are going pro and you know how i'm happy for them and them to take them back and all these things and in the comment section there are a few persons that let me know listen it's not all about money and all these things the athletes need to get their education go to university they, they should choose to go to university and this not and whatnot and here we have serena cole a girl that has run 11.31 not three one, sorry, one three. How dare me? Eleven point one three this season, and she's deciding to stay back after getting multiple offers to university. No, I could have why the reason, right? The only thing I can think of is that Serena wanted to all so go pro. No, I feel a way about this because earlier in the season. And listen, I have no allegiance to no school. I'm glad that my school is not big in champs. So I don't have necessarily that whole, you know, team spirit or team vibe. I'm able to look at things individually and, you know, appreciate, also appreciate athletes, you know, individual, individually as well, or at least see them for what they have to offer. And I remember earlier in the season, we were being told, you know, watch out for Serena. Serena is going to, you know, be the girl dropping it this season. And, you know, so said, so done. And I remember one on one particular stream that I did. I was like, so how Edwin Allen, I got choose who represent, you know, the team in the 100 meters. And I was told, well, you know, you take one for the team. Listen, t t t for, in my opinion, Edwin Allen never need the extra points because they were that far much well further ahead of Heidel in in the ranking. So if I'm better at the 100 meters, then, you know, Adessa Mwango, I want to run in the 100 meters. I don't want to take one for the team because guess what? On my personal resume, on my CV, or what everybody's going to be looking at is, you know, my performances. And that's where everybody's looking. Everybody's looking to give people to money. Well, not just money, but you get benefits, obviously, more benefits when you're the it girl in the 100 meters. So I thought to myself, well, that's interesting. Um, I don't know if from a parental standpoint, all right, how do you tell me as a parent that my daughter should go focus in the, the long jump over an event that she 
uh, is clearly, you know, one of the best in right now at the school. I just don't know how that, how that worked. And now that I see them saying that she's staying back another year at high school, um, it got me thinking that, you know, she was definitely slighted because I never did she want. She didn't want, especially with you know, these contracts being flung out left, right, and center to everybody else. And the whole notion of, oh, if you go pro, you can't go to school, not no go so right not in Augusta you can still go to school we have multiple examples of this one such being you know the great Shelley and Fraser Price uh and amongst multiple others uh, I think the only athlete I can name off the top of my head that is really really big or became really really big but didn't you know focus on education to that is Usain Bolt the others did right so I mean there are all those examples out there of, you know, going pro and obviously, you know, getting a degree at the same time as well. So I thought, you know, when I saw this, she was slighted and it was, it's kind of a bit selfish to expect me to also come back to school to better my personal best or be the star girl this season, I, uh, next season. I could have been one of the star girls this season in that event. Uh, possibly right and we don't know what's going to happen next season because no season no two seasons are the same we'd love to think that everybody's just going to progress and keep progressing and getting better and better and better and we know so that nothing don't go so now with all of these lovely uh college opportunities existing right now for her she's opting to go back to high school to better her personal best. So check is, you tell me in the comment section below what you believe. You think that Serena is just going going back to high school so that she can better her personal best so that she can get into the same colleges that she could have got gotten into this year. That to me doesn't make no sense. And the mere fact that she would be advised to stay um, in high school if her reason is to get a college degree, then to me, it make, it's even worse. Because if you're getting all these college offers right now, and, you know, everybody keeps screaming and harping, college, college, college down my throat, right? So if university is being offered, then why not, you know, why not take it? The only thing I can think of is that, you know, she was, you know, slighted. Unfortunately, the focus was not on her for the sprint events. And made her miss out on opportunities that she may have may have gotten uh if she was you know given more time in the event and some of her focus was not on that long jump and personally me feel like say, serena don't like the long jump because sometimes i see her jumping that in that long jump pit and her face went up like s <laughs> especially when she gets up she is screwing like listen i don't want to be here i don't want to be doing this but i know what i want for you know my future i want to be able to better myself and another thing i was thinking do you see what they do at the university the universities they take whoever is good full stop in a story so sometimes time you see all five people from one school right in a particular event is that something that champs also needs to look into as well and i know they're obviously against that because they want all of the schools you know to be a part of champs and um, that's why some of these transfer rules have changed you know to, to block uh other schools i guess raiding um the smaller schools but at the same time what's the point of me i'm a young girl and I see Tina and Tia, uh, Tina and Tia Clayton, and I aspire to go to Edwin Allen, right? And it just so happens that the moment I end up at Edwin Allen is the year ten other athletes just as good as I am are also at Edwin Allen. What does that mean for me and my talents in that particular event, or the things that I may have been able to get out of high school because the focus is not. Or I'm not going to get that kind of focused attention or it's not a shared thing. They're pretty much going to say, okay, you are the star. You're good. You're good. All right. Uno, I run the 100 meters. Uno, can go find some else for do. You know, that's just what I'm thinking. And something needs to change. I don't know. But check it, as I said, sound off in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts as it relates to what you think about Serena Cole 
staying home. Again, I'm not against her decision. It is her decision and she knows what she wants to do at the end of the day. But from an outsider looking in, I thought I would share my opinion on the situation. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like the video.